Hey friends, it is quarter after nine at night. Um, I'm looking like a hot mess, but this is real life. Um, it is a Sunday night. We have been going all day long. We just got home about 15 minutes ago. Um, and yeah, so Sundays are really busy for me because I am um, the head of our children's ministry at our church right now. Um, and it's a really big job. Um, I have been up since 5.30 this morning. Um, and like I said, we just got home at nine. We've been gone all day. Uh, so anyways, um, very last minute, uh, my kids were offered by their auntie to take them to camp. So we go to a church camp two weeks out of the summer every year. Um, I've gone since before I've had kids. I even went like a couple times before I was even married. Um, and I have gone now like 10 years, um, in total, not counting the years that, um, I wasn't married cause I didn't go for the whole two weeks kind of thing. Anyways, um, but both my kids have gone every year that they've been on this earth. Um, they were both five, six, they were both six and seven months old when they first started going. Um, and yeah, uh, this will actually be the first time that I'm not going and it feels, there's a lot of emotion involved with it. Um, the main reason, there's a couple reasons I'm not going. The main one is, is I, I kind of feel it's going to be a big uh, trigger for me. Um, I was pregnant last year at camp. Um, if you're new to my story, we lost our son at 20 weeks in October. Um, and I had just told my family that I was pregnant. Um, I was only seven weeks along. Um, and it was there that I learned that, um, my sister-in-law was going to have a baby too. And, um, we called our babies the baby twins, um, and I it was at camp that I started experiencing uh, complications with my pregnancy. I actually left camp twice last year to go to doctor's appointments and sonograms, um, and I just honestly, um, I've been in a really good place, but um, the past week or so has been really difficult for me. I've had a lot of crying sessions. Um, and I have a feeling it was because I knew camp was coming and I knew it was just going to be really hard. Um, and so I've opted not to go, but, um, my sister-in-laws are both going, the baby who's, uh, my nephew is going, um, my mother-in-law is going and they offered to take the kids. So they're not going to go the whole two weeks. They'll probably likely go, um, five to seven days, um, so yeah, so it's kind of crazy. Um, I'm making popcorn for dinner. <laughs> Not that great when you're trying to eat uh, low carb. But I had pancakes for my for my other meal today. So yeah, so I'm just like batting a thousand. Um, but that's okay. There's Grace. Um, I could be eating a whole lot of sugar to go along with it, like M&Ms in my popcorn. But I'm not, because um, I'm not. Um, Anyways, so I've got a lot to do tonight to get ready for the kids to go. I've got a lot of laundry to do. Um, not a whole lot. Actually, it's probably just like a load. Um, but I've got a lot of laundry to fold because we haven't been home. And I have a feeling you're not going to be able to hear me very well. So I'm going to catch up with you in a minute. Okay, so I got the wash in. I got my popcorn ready to go. I thought I would just finish chitty chatting with you first before I head into the living room and just start working on stuff that's in there. So to give you a little background on camp, it is on the world's largest freshwater island. Um, it is two and a half hours away from our home and there is there are no chain stores on the island. So everything is basically mom and pop owned um, and it is it's not necessarily remote, but it is um, away from a lot of things. Uh, the last major grocery store is, before you get on the island, is about an hour and a half away. Um, and there are grocery stores on the island, like people live there like full time, um, but everything's really expensive, especially because it's the summer. Um, and it's very touristy in some parts as well. So uh, things are just generally expensive. Um, and so I always want to be mega prepared so that we don't have to buy things 
at the drugstore or whatever. Um, and yeah, a lot of it's just, it is just kind of really remote and, uh, in some a couple years ago even like you couldn't even get cell phone reception where we camp um and camp for us is like uh, an rv trailer type thing um but you couldn't even get cell phone reception like you literally had to stand in one particular spot you had to drive to it stand in one particular spot and not move <laughs> to get um even like one bar of service it's improved but it is um, when you go there, I basically unplug. I just take the two weeks to refuel my my mind, my heart, my soul. We go to church services two times a day, um, and it is just it's, it's vacation and relaxation time. So, um, all that to say, it may look like I am packing a lot of stuff, but it's because a I don't want anyone to have to buy my kids stuff while they're there. B, you probably can't get anything there. Um, I remember one time I ran out of something makeup-y, like foundation or concealer or something like that, and I could not. The only brands that they sold were Revlon. Um, they didn't even have, like, Maybelline. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyways, okay. I got my popcorn. I'm really hungry. I'm ready to eat. I'm going to go take you into the living room and share with you all the things we got going in there. So before we get started, I wanted to show you the temperature of my house. It's 78. We do not have air conditioning, so I'm going to turn on a fan, and you're probably going to hear it in the background. So I hope that's okay, but it's just way too hot to not have a fan on. Okay, so this is what I'm dealing with <laughs> here in my living room. And then just for good measure, I'll show you all the other stuff that's going on. So on the couch, I've got my makeup and stuff from earlier this morning. Like I said, we... We left the house at, uh, we were ready at like 7.30. Um, my makeup mirror is still there and my coffee cup. Popcorn's there. So this is all of the stuff that I pulled out of the kids' um, closet before I put them to bed. Um, we've got games and Aubrey's hat and a sleeping bag, um, a bucket of sand toys and other things. Um, so I'm going to sort through all this. We're probably not going to take everything. Um, there are some beach towels and things in here, but I do need at least like two to three outfits a day. Um, two at least. One for the morning service, one for like playtime um, that I don't mind getting kind of messy. And then there's also an evening service for kids as well. Um, and generally it's a lot cooler because it's on an island. Um, so we want a something that they can wear in the evening that like, it's like pants and stuff like that so um over here i've got this is clean laundry i have to fold this is clean laundry these are towels that need folded and that's already folded stuff i have this picture here because i've been kind of redecorating my house <laughs> we've got a lot going on okay so i've got all of the clothes folded um, and that includes all the stuff that I pulled out of the kids' drawers. I've sort of just set up some piles of things. Um, nothing's really super organized, but I needed to put everything in piles to just sort of... My brain really works in compartments. Um, so basically, these are all of Colt's pajamas. He will not have all of these. A lot of these are long-sleeved. And he has um, a bunch of things in the washing machine. So I did go ahead and put everything together, though, so that um, when everything's done in the washer and dryer, I can just pull out what he's going to take um, and everything can go back in his drawer. It'll be all kind of neatly folded. Um, these are Aubrey's shorts for tomorrow. They're kind of just like an athletic short. And I thought those would be good for her driving because um, they'll be sitting for quite a while. Um, and I've got all of her shirts here. And again, I'm not sure what all she's going to take, but I've just put pulled everything that was in her closet. And again, she's got a lot of stuff in the washing machine. We've got underwear. We've got um, shorts for Colt. These are all of his shirts. Um, I made sure that each kid had a... Um, pair of pants so this is Aubrey's it's just some knit pants um, like I mentioned earlier it gets very cold on the island uh, so I just want to make sure that they have you know a pair of long pants um, and so these are Aubrey's shorts 
and she's got a lot of shorts that are in the washing machine. Um, this was just another pair of pants that were hers. I actually need to have her try these on. Um, she's grown, and I'm not sure if either of those fit her, but we'll, I'll have her try those on tomorrow. And these are her pajamas. Um, she's got a lot of things in the washing machine, too. Um, these are Colts that need to go back in his drawer. There's some sweatpants, so I don't really need those. Um, and then each kiddo has a sweatshirt to bring. So this one is Colts. Aubrey will bring her Disney sweatshirt, and that's in the washing machine. Um, over here are some towels. So they'll each take two beach towels. Uh, there's only two here so each kid will have two so one for Aubrey one for Colt and then they'll each have another set as well and then they'll each have a bath towel this little case right here is um, just a little toiletry case it's actually a pencil case I got from the dollar store and we just put toothbrushes and toothpaste in here I will have a caddy uh, that they can take into the shower with their body wash and things like that um, so we'll make that up tomorrow. Um, and I do have um, some essential oil rollers. They both like to have those before bed. So we'll pack those inside of this little case as well. And then I've just got things laid out over here. Cold sleeping bag. I have to remember to get Aubrey's out. Um, and over here I've done some more clothes. So I started to sort some of Colt's church outfits. So he's got a pair of shorts and a polo here. I'm going to iron this shirt tomorrow. He's actually got two little button-down shirts that I think he would like to wear. So um, this will have to get ironed tomorrow. And then he's got uh, his jeans and then a pair of uh, pants for church. And they can kind of like recycle the same like they can wear the same shorts like more than one day in a row. Um, this Let's Do It shirt is uh, his long sleeve shirt. And then over here I've got some brand new t-shirts for Aubrey. So we are kind of just saving these for camp and also for um, if we went anywhere nice. They're just like not an everyday play shirt. So I have pulled those out. I'm going to put some outfits together for her because I don't want her to get them really stained up. <laughs> Um, so those are just there for now. And these are her church things. So she's got this really cute skirt. This was actually her Easter skirt. And this was from Carter's. Um, it's got these really cute appliques on it. And so she'll wear, she actually has a t-shirt that is, what color? It's like this color. Um, sorry, my camera cords. In. So she actually has a shirt that is this color right here. Uh, it's in the washing machine, so she'll wear that. Although she could wear a lot of these shirts as well. They all match. This little skirt is from Carter's. And she wore that for Easter. Um, then she has this dress here. It's just a little sleeveless thing. She actually likes to, she loves to wear dresses and she'll wear dresses all around the house. And sometimes I have to tell her, don't wear that. You're wearing that to church on Sunday. Um, and this is a little dress that we picked up for her when we were at Disney World. It was actually from Walmart. Um, I think it was like five or six bucks. They have like, Walmart has really cute dresses for kids. Um, so those are her dresses. And then I just have her sun hat here and this has to go back in her drawer. So that is where I'm at at this point. Um, I don't think I can do too much more tonight without actually having the clothes from the washing machine. Um, well, good morning, friends. It is the following day. I have went ahead and I have folded all of these clothes. These were ones that I washed last night. I have one more small load of laundry uh, that is in the washing machine, or the dryer right now, that I do need to go pull out and dry. Um, so I went ahead and folded everything. I actually folded them up on the couch and kind of just put them down here. So um, I've got my morning coffee. I am still in my pajamas uh, and we are just gonna go ahead and get going here. So I went through and I found some outfit ideas that I'm gonna put together um, and I'm gonna work on getting the pajamas together. All right, so we are pretty much all set up with the clothes. So I've went through and what I've done is I have made like a little packet of clothes. So I have an outfit for about 
oh, I don't know, almost seven days. Um, and again, so we'll need an outfit for Sunday or for church in the morning, church in the evening, and just a play outfit. And there's like, it's just mostly outside play. Um, so he can double up on the things that he wears at night or in the evening. And a lot of his clothes are just really nice that he could wear in the evening as well. It's, it is camp church. Like we're not like majorly dressing up or anything like that. But, um, I also don't want him to wear his like extremely like play clothes to church. So anyways, I've got all of his outfits kind of all packed up together here. It's a shorts and a t-shirt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of these in a Ziploc bag so that that's like a little packet and he's got his packet. I will probably put his undies in uh, this packet as well just to make it super duper easy. Then I've got a few extra t-shirts here. I've got um, a couple pairs of socks and these are his swim things and his undies. I have got all of his pajamas as well, and again, they're kind of the same thing, just um, the pajama pants or shorts just folded over with the shirt. And I've also done that for Aubrey. She's got all of her pajamas, and they're in like a little packet as well, and then these are all of her play clothes and things. Um, so I'll put those in a bag for her. She's got an extra shirt. Um, and let's see, we've got, these are her uh, shorts to go under her dresses. She's got her outfit for the day in her undies. Um, these are her swimsuits. And then she has a beach cover-up. These are Colt's um, outfits for church. And like this one pair of pants actually has two shirts in it. So he can wear the pants more than once. And then here's his long sleeved things and his jeans. Um, and then I've got some dresses for Aubrey. This is uh, a pair of shorts and a top. And again, Aubrey loves to wear dresses. So I have a feeling she may even wear just some of these all day, but I don't, I want to have stuff for her just in case. Now these were her extra shirts. The, these are the ones that have never been worn. I think I'm just going to put them back in her closet. Um, I kind of decided I'd rather not have her wear them at camp where they can get ruined because we'll be starting school in about a month, I think we'll just use them for school. They'll be fall kind of things. Um, it stays pretty warm here through fall for a while, so I'll just have her wear those. Um, and I'm not going to take this shirt for Cole. I don't feel like ironing today. Um, these are Aubrey's pants that she just tried on and her sweatshirt. So anyways, now that I've got like all of the things set up. I'm going to put all those stuff in bags and start to get packed up. Okay, so this is our linen closet here in the hall. Um, and up above here, this is where I keep all of our travel items. So when we went to, on our trip to Disney, I put all of the kids in uh, clothes in Ziploc bags. So I've just saved those Ziploc bags and put them in here. So I'm going to pull them down. I'm going to write on them with a Sharpie what is for church and what's for play. And I'm here. The kiddos are being crazy. I'm counting money. And I'm going to be a caterpillar. <laughs> um, they have a snack shack at our camp where you can go get treats. So we need to make sure we have enough for ice cream and all the treats. <laughs> so here's what uh, this bin looks like. I've got a lot of our Disney stuff in here. Like These are our um, ears. And this is all of our... Disney stuff um, and I've got travel bags underneath and in this bag this is actually where I have all of the Ziploc bags stored so I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna go ahead and pack up the clothes all right so I've got Colt's clothes bagged up and what I've done is I've written play on his clothes that are like play clothes like these are the clothes get in the dirt and be crazy and be as messy and yucky as possible and then I've labeled some play plus church so these are the ones that he can play in um, but they can also be worn to like evening church and then in here I've got um, his church clothes labeled so these will be the ones kind of for nice church so 
I've started to put everything in a bag. So this is one of uh, the organizing utility totes from 31 Gifts, and I'll pack as much as I can in this. The nice thing about packing in these as opposed to a suitcase is that these collapse and they can slide like under the bed or into a closet um, and they take up very minimal space, but they also double as um, like a laundry bag. Like we can stuff all the dirty clothes in there. So that is what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of his things packed up and put in one bag and then I'll do Aubrey's separately. Okay, so here's where we're at. I've got all of Aubrey's things packed up in her bag. Hi guys. Does it look like I'm going camping? My sleeping bag's in here. <laughs> um, and then this is Colt's bag. Um, this is actually a larger bag than this one. Ideally, I would love to have two sizes of these because we tend to use these for a lot of um, our trips and things rather than suitcases again because they fold flat and they hold so much um, so anyways but this is hers this is his everything fit um, I will have one extra bag probably this one over here um, I'm gonna fold all that stuff and then I'll pack in all the other little things so this is their toiletries caddy the bathroom and the shower are in a separate area. Like you have to like walk to it and stuff. Um, we don't use the bathroom inside of the trailer. So this is their little caddy that'll make it kind of easier for them. They've both got glasses. So these are their glasses cases. Um, I have a pair of sunglasses for Aubrey. They both have transition lenses in their glasses, but Aubrey doesn't have to wear her glasses all the time um, just for reading and screens and things. So I did just pack her her sunglasses. This little case inside has their toothbrush and toothpaste. And then in this zipper part is their essential roller bottles. And underneath I've got a little bag full of like hair ties for Aubrey. And then on this side, we've got some um, sunscreen. They needed spray sunscreen for camp, um, for day camp. And I wasn't super crazy about this brand. However, we have it because they needed spray sunscreen and that's all we could find. So they'll just use this at camp. Um, this is their shampoo and body wash. And I'm normally like, I really like when it comes to what I put on my kids, I really try and have more clean ingredients. Not everything is, obviously, the sunscreen. Um, but they were completely out of body wash. And yesterday I went to Marshall's and I was looking around for body wash for them because they have a selection of like natural products. And all I saw was shampoo. And I was so bummed because I knew I wasn't going to be able to get to the store before they left for camp. And so I went to the register to check out and at the register was actually this. And this is what I love to use on them. This is such a clean, clean product. I normally, this is like $12 at the grocery store, but I got it for $6. Um, and I was like, Lord, this is so awesome. It was like, it was meant for me. And then right next to it was their toothpaste, which is by the same brand, Nature Clean. Um, and that was 50% off of what I can get it at the grocery store too. So I just loved how God took care of that detail for me. So this is a shampoo and body wash in one. And then, um, I just packed a little pack of tissues just because I had them. Um, a hairbrush, some hair gel for cold glasses cleaner, and then Aubrey filled, the, there's just a teeny bit of conditioner in here. It's also the Nature's Gate brand, and that is their toiletries caddy. So this is Aubrey's bag. She's got like pens and markers and some books and paper and things in here. Um, they do have like board games up at camp and they're also taking um, life. This is Colt's pillow. I just wanted to show you this pillowcase. It is so cute and so perfect. Um, my mom made uh, this pillowcase for him. So I just put a fresh case on and it's going to go in his bag. And then we just have uh, some water wings. Those will get packed up. This is Colt's uh, purple blanket that he always likes to sleep with and the game Life. Uh, Aubrey's sleeping bag is here. We still need to get a fan for background noise and we are almost done. So another thing I pulled out of, uh, we have a 
cabinet where I keep a lot of the summer stuff was some buckets and we had some bubbles and then we've got Aubrey's swim goggles so I'm just gonna go ahead and label everything um, sometimes things get left at the beach and kind of everybody knows everybody and you know things like everybody just will use each other's things but just to make sure that we get things back at the end of camp um, I will go ahead and label everything Okay, so here is the bag of stuff for the kids. Colt pulled out a few toys to take with him. We've got our toiletry caddy down here. We've got our bucket of outside stuff. Um, this is Aubrey's bag here. We've got the game of life. So everything fit in really nicely. And I'll be able to just stick the pedal jumper right on top. Um, we've got fresh pillowcases on the pillows. Um, Colt's blankets all folded up underneath is a sleeping bag. The only thing I still have left to get out is uh, Colt's fan. They both sleep with fans and I like his because it's really loud and it helps cut out any noise of people talking and stuff because trailers are really small um, and it's like really good white noise for them. So uh, everything is ready except for the fan and the kids are getting ready because we got a text from Auntie Sarah that they are that she's ready to go so um it was perfect timing on our part we're gonna go ahead and move all of this stuff to the door and i'm gonna shoo them out the door and enjoy a little mommy time to myself my husband is away for a couple days um and so i actually have the house to myself so anyways this is um our packing video thank you for hanging out with us and i'll see you in my next video bye